Greetings Hobbies, this is Arsans of Vool, and in this video we're going to be having a look at blood. So I've got this sword that I sculpted a while back, there's a link to that in the description if you want to check out how we did that, it's actually relatively simple and we had some fun doing this without using any booleans at all, so it's quite a nice modelling exercise, but I want to add to this today and I want to add some blood to it. Now Blender does have the ability to calculate water and sort of do fluid movements using its physics engine, and it's pretty cool and it's not actually particularly hard to set up. But if you've got a liquid that's meant to be dripping off something like a sword and you want to do that stylized sort of look of blood droplets, it just doesn't stick right, I guess would be the right word. So we're going to actually have to sculpt this or at least find a better way of putting this together. And actually, it's fairly simple in Blender thanks to one thing, and that is metaballs. Now we'll talk a little bit of sculpting later as well, which is fairly simplistic, I won't be using a tablet for it or anything, but let's talk about metaballs and what they are. So if you press Shift and A and go to metaball, you have these metaball options. Balls, capsules, planes, ellipsoids and cubes, and effectively they all do the same thing. They're basic shapes, for example here's a plane, let's just rotate that on the Y axis, and we can modify those and change them around. For example, I'm going to elongate this slightly on the Y axis, and it just looks like a shape with a subdivision surface on it. I'm just going to move that up there, rotate that around, and put it sort of in place on the sword. It's all pretty standard and fairly boring, except for if I bring in another one, let's bring in a capsule and rotate that on the Y axis. If I start bringing this towards it, you will notice they do this really cool thing where they start merging and blurring together. Now, firstly, this is not looking great at this point. We can up the resolution if you come over to your Metaball data properties. We can up this and you can go as low as you want if you want it relatively pixelated or really high if you want it to be smooth. And then as you move this around, you'll notice it sort of blobs and congeals together in a way that sort of water droplets and blood droplets should do. So, for example, I can scale this down, put that somewhere there, and you've got something that's starting to look like a blood droplet, either quite to the point where it's nearly about to fall or where it's starting to drip down. And if I just shift an A and bring in something like a ball, we can finish that off quite easily just by coming to the end and that's gonna be the end of our blood drop. And actually, let's just say both of those need to be scaled down a little bit and then move them up. Now, some points on editing. First of all, you get these circles around them and that's what you need to click on. You can't click on the individual object. For example, here, it will just move the first bit, the plane that we're connecting to. So you just select the circle and then you can move this around where you want it to be. We can just use the standard commands like Shift and D to duplicate those and then we could add, let's say, another blood droplet and shrink that down and do whatever we want. So a little bit of tinkering and you get a fairly good result. The other thing that I'll say, and this is a bit hidden, I don't know why they make this like this, but if you go into, let's say, a ball and then bring this up here, what you can actually do is use this to cut away from your metable shape. And that again allows you to make some really nice shapes. All you have to do is tab into edit mode and it suddenly appears. I don't know why this isn't just in normal standard mode. And all you need to do is click negative and then it's gonna be a negative. Now I will say this has a tendency to reset your resolution. So just up that back up here and then go into object mode and we can just G and move that around and we can start cutting things out using this ball and shift and D and make maybe some other versions of this that will start making our interesting blood-like shapes. So something like there is fairly good and you can see how quickly this works out. Once you've got this to a point where you're happy with it, you do need to apply this, otherwise it just ends up being a bit of a mess. So just right click, convert to and then mesh and you get your mesh with everything sort of joined together. And it looks a little bit messy, but it works. And that's the thing that's important. Now, at this point, I would say it's probably a little bit wide at the top. They've something that's taken, well, probably about a minute to make. It's a pretty good start, but I will normally go into and start sculpting this. So let's go into our sculpt brushes. And first of all, we've got a warning because I've been scaling things. So I want to shift A and apply the scale and then come back into that. And to smooth everything out, I want to remesh everything. They've changed the commands for remeshing now. If you click R, it brings up the remesh voxel size. So you can make that relatively fine, as fine as your computer will handle. Click and then control and R to do the remesh. And then you can just start smoothing things out. And with any brush that's selected, if I just bring out the brushes, if you hold down shift, as you drag, it starts to smooth things out. So it depends how smooth you want everything to be, or if you want the borders to be a little bit more defined, like that's quite nice. Whereas there, I probably want that smoothed out. 
and we can start doing things like making everything a little bit thinner at the top and we can also add some more blobby shapes. Now, I will actually talk about sculpting. Let's do another drop of blood and that's relatively easy as well. Just grab the snake hook tool, grab where you want that to be and then just pull down and you get the start of your blood drop. And then we can use the inflate brush is generally my favorite to start going around the tip and we inflate that out to make our blood drop. Control and R to remesh every so often and then we can get everything looking a little bit nicer, a little bit smoother. And if you ever need to make anything a bit smaller, if you hold down the control button as you're sculpting, it will effectively deflate. Though sometimes you get these weird sort of slight artifacts where again, you just want to smooth over those and it will sort everything out. So we've got another blood drop there, another way of going about it. Generally creates a slightly different shape that's got a bit of a less rounding at the end. The other thing we can do with the inflate brush is holding down control, we can start making things a little bit thinner at the top edges. So control and then shift to smooth that out. So there we have some stylized blood. It takes minutes to do and it adds a really nice extra effect to your weapons. It can also be used for other liquids to recreate things like goo. It's just a lot of fun and those metaballs make life a lot simpler. Have a great day guys.